here we go. Off on another adventure, eh? Doing this one solo though, unfortunately. So, yeah, Macy's got responsibilities, also known as children. Half an hour out of Gympie, I'm pretty sure that's what the sign said. But um, it's been a pretty smooth drive. If you're ever driving around in Australia and you head up to the sunny coast, leave early in the morning because the traffic's shit towards Brisbane. The further north you get, obviously, it gets a bit better because the population's a little bit smaller, which is good. I'm not gonna lie, I've been driving for an hour and I'm definitely gonna have to find somewhere to stop and have a pee because I am hanging out. But journey's going well. Emergency stopping bay. I need an emergency pissing stopping bay. I am about to go away. I might have to take the next exit and find somewhere. Eh? This is hectic. Okay. Had to get the big fella out. Found the emergency pissing bay. Ooh. There's no way I was holding that to a gimpy. Now I've got to find... I don't know, I've got to get back on the gimpy somehow. Hopefully no one drives past, eh? Might be a bit awkward. Here's a cool story for you. So, there's a little rumour going around that there's a pyramid in Gympie, right? And even the Aboriginals have stories about it. But look, I don't know if that's the actual fucking Gympie pyramid. There's another one as well. But um, there's hieroglyphs in Gympie, there's hieroglyphs in Gosford, New South Wales. So, you know, apparently if the world's as old as what it is, possibilities are endless, eh? Here we go, you might get a better view of the mountain. Right there, look at it, boom. Which is very pyramid-like, but you know. That's not the actual Gympie pyramid, I don't think. So I'll have to find photos and put it up for you because I'm pretty sure you're not even allowed to walk up there anymore. Hiding something, eh? Look at that. Hopefully the commie doesn't get nicked. But we made it to Gympie, safe and sound. It's a shame Macy couldn't be here. If you're watching this, Mason, you're a pussy. Nah, no, just kidding. Just kidding. It's actually pretty cool down here. I'll show you how high the water gets when it floods. I don't know how the old Gympians are going to take the camera. Last time I was up here, I went took my ex-partner <clears throat> to this little train thing which you'll see later on and we had a farmer pull up on us and he was not a happy camper I thought we were casing his property but yeah that wasn't the case we were doing other stuff goes right up there. Massive old bridge. Should have brought me fishing rods to be honest. But look at that. That was from the last little flood. And we used to walk across this. Obviously not now. It's all like quite warm. But when we get to the camp spot, I'm gonna go for a swim, get the gear off. Go for a little bit of a paddle. Got a little young local down there chilling. 
having some man time. Like, yeah, most of the locals are alright. But we'll see. We'll see when we go camping, we might have a bit of issues. But fingers crossed, we should be alright. A couple of crows over here punching on. Get him, bud. Vicious little bugger. I don't like seeing that and that. That's rank. Don't litter people, it's freaking bad. Here we are. We've made it. Grandma's house. Where the red ute is, I think. That's the one. I won't show you the number because you ain't bloody coming to hunt me grandma down. Alright, so that was quite a visit at grandma's. I've been there for a few hours, but it was oh sorry. It was bloody good. My uncle was there, my auntie was there, my auntie-in-law, mum was there. Um, but we're all having a little family lunch up there tomorrow after golf for grandma's birthday, so that should be fun. But we're off now to go to the camping spot. All right, let's go. Time for a feed and then camping. Bloody cicadas everywhere. This is where I wanted to stop for a feed. Look at this rainforest. It's nice, that. Uh, I don't think we're going to stop there, though, because there's people there doing some shit. Not a bad little location for a feed. Have a look at this. Nice little view. I think Macy and I stopped here once before. <clears throat> Went to the toilet, which is over there. Yeah, what a view. I'll quickly pump this feed and then I'm outies. Not the healthiest fucking dinner. Not the healthiest dinner at all. But we'll get it done. This place reminds me of Jurassic Park. It's just full hectic. So the, the camp location's down here. Let's hope no one's down there. And let's hope that the creek isn't flooded. Otherwise, it's gonna be a mish. Look at these beautiful mountains. That that doesn't make me happy at all. I've got to, I'm gonna try to get down there, so. So my uncle's down from Mackay and he's got a nice 4 b He'll be able to tow me out if I get stuck. But in saying that, they are about 40 minutes away from where I am. And if I get stuck down here, it's going to be not good news for the commie. Check it out. We might actually get a fair distance. That's cool. Man, I could just camp here, I reckon. I was going to try to go down there, but... I'm just going to park up on this little this little thing here. I reckon we're just going to camp here. Alright, don't do that, because we'll definitely get bogged. Is there a little fire pit down here? This is us. Alright, let's go for a little wander. I can have music on. Oh, it's fresh, it's cold. Look at this. Little fire pit ready to go. I can have a wash in the creek. I think this is us for the night, eh? I reckon there's a good chance we might see some wildlife in here tonight. A couple of Ely boys. As per usual, safety boots on. Always wear shoes in the bush, I can't stress that enough. I've lived here all my life. Been in and out of the bush since I was a little tucker. So I've got a little bit of knowledge about it. But if you ever come to Australia and visit, man, put some shoes on because there are snakes. I don't want to say everywhere, because the chances of you running into a snake is pretty slim. They, um, they hear you coming from a long ways away, 
so. <clears throat> it's freezing. Alright, time to get some firewood. This is no way I'm camping here without a fire. It's a must. For one, it'll help keep the mozzies away. Two, hopefully keep the snakes and other shit away. <laughs> and three, I don't think there's anything more peaceful than sitting around a campfire. Especially on your own. No one here. Now, a lot of people might not, I shouldn't say have the balls to come out. They might be a bit nervous coming out on their own, but I suggest everyone to do it. You know, makes a man out of you. Or a woman. <clears throat> but yeah. Outdoors is such a beautiful place. Really gives you time to sit and just ponder on things, eh? But at the same time, you can't let fear stop you from doing things. Oh, hey baby. That's for tomorrow. That is for tomorrow. For now, Let's boost this. Oh, check this out. So, my Uncle Paul just handed down this to me. It's for marking your golf ball on the greens. I thought that was bloody awesome. So I'll keep that forever. The day I lose that is the day I'll quit golf because that is now a special thing to me. Uncle Paul, if you're watching this, mate, thank you so much. I appreciate it a lot. It's a bloody good gift, mate. Love those too. But yeah, hope you're watching. Thanks again. And yeah, like, share and subscribe if you haven't. We're this close to getting monetized. That's one of my goals this year is to get monetized by YouTube. And like I said earlier in the video, I'll probably start doing some bigger trips, maybe getting on planes and whatnot. You know, work's good, money's good, life's good. We've even got a little seat here for you guys. Nice little fire going, plenty of firewood around the joint. Skeeties are starting to come out a bit. That's all right, I've got a little trick. A little trick to show you. We've got cockatoos up here. Squawking. I think they're, I don't know if they're, there's, it's a type of pine tree, but I think it's a bunya tree. I eat the bunion nuts off it. But anyway, so it's an old bushman's trick, right? When the mosquitoes bite, cow poo. You burn dry cow poo, and apparently it keeps the mosquitoes away. I've never tried it, so we're going to go on a hunt for a bit of cow poop. Because there are cows down here usually. Haven't seen any today though. So we'll go hunting. That might be the number. No, nope, that's a bit that's a bit wet. <laughs> we don't want to be picking that one up. Hell no. Nah. I nearly went down. So my mum's requested a few little rocks. She does a bit of arts and crafts and stuff, so what sort of sum would I be if I didn't get her rocks? So 
So, Mama, if you're watching this, I didn't forget. I got you. Oh, here we go. We're on the money. This is meant to be mosquito repellent. I know it's gross. Not looking good. Done. Can't really see. There you go. You've got your own seat now. So there's one thing that I I shouldn't say that I don't like about being outdoors because it's, I love everything about being outdoors. <laughs> but there's one thing that I don't really like doing while I'm outdoors, and that's number two. Um, do you think I brought toilet paper or anything? Nah, no, I didn't. But however, I did ask McDonald's for extra serviettes, so I thought that one through a little wee bit. There's a cool little bird over there. I'm not sure what it is. Let's go have a look. See him eating the berries? There he goes. Thanks, buddy. It's so peaceful out here. But I'm gonna have to sort out that number two issue soon. Um, just trying to find it. There he goes. Up the creek. Up the tree. That's mad. Not that exciting. Plenty of firewood about, but it's all driftwood, so it's, it's not very dense. It tends to burn pretty quick, which is not ideal for my situation. That's wet as a shag. Put into the side of the dryer. Oh, I nearly did my knee. <laughs> this is not what I wanted to see this early on in my trip, but I'm glad I seen it while well, it was still daylight. Check it out. Look at the bugs on my sleeping bag, bro. What am I going to do? At least they're not inside. Do the Taylor Swift and shake it off, eh? I've got no idea where those little ants are coming from, but they've um, somehow found their way back onto my sleeping bag. It's not good. I think they might be flying ants, so... Let's try the cow poo. Get smash in there. Alright, let's try. No harm in trying, eh? Oh, that's a cool bird. Let's see if we can get close to him. He's got yellow on him. Oh, he's cool. One thing about Australia, we do have some sweet wildlife. Some will kill you, there's no doubt about that. But there's some pretty animals around here. Gorgeous. Hopefully we can see some more come out tonight. I know there's deer and stuff around here too, so if we're lucky and if we're quiet, we might see one. Doubtful, but it's a possibility. So for the minute, I'm gonna go sort out this number two issue because it's, uh, it's getting the better of me people. Oh, let Number two mission complete. Ooh, that was the most uncomfortable thing I've done in a little while. May or may not have pooped on my phone, but that's for me to know and you not to find out. Anyway, I think the best part of this is the absolute silence, or apart from the noisy cicadas. No traffic, no people screaming, carrying on. I think that's why I'm tired, I'm so relaxed and chill, but I hope I'm not boring you with this vlog, which is pretty much a vlog actually, it's not exactly one of our hectic adventures.
with me. I was trying to find some rocks for mum. And the coolest little frog just bounced. There he is. He's still there. Check this little guy out. I think it's a rocket frog. How cool is he? Hey, buddy. Let's see if I can catch him. You alright, bud? Oh, he's gone. He's quick. I don't know if you can see me at all. But just sitting here thinking about all the good things in life. All the things I'm grateful for. My family. My job. My business colleague, I guess you could say. I don't want to say boss because no one has a boss. He's my employer. But technically boss. The smoke's killing me. I'm not crying, I swear. But I think that's one thing everyone should do every morning or afternoon, at night, whatever. Sit down and think of the things that you're grateful for. Not the things that are ruining your life because nothing can truly ruin your life unless you let it. This alone time's good. It's good to reset, refresh, and just live it, eh? And don't let fear stop you. Fear's the one thing that makes mankind so controllable, or easy to control, I should say. And that's here. It'd be nice to get out with the old man to <clears throat> get him along on a bloody video, I reckon. Because he's right into his camp, and Dad, you're probably watching this, mate, so... You're up for the next adventure, eh? Check it out. <clears throat> My little froggy mate's come back. Hey, bud. I can't say that I've seen these ones too often, eh? They're usually really brown, but these little boys are yellow. I'm trying to keep the camera still. I really want to touch him, but you're not really meant to touch. Whoa, oh, nearly dropped his. Not really meant to touch frogs. Got him. Don't go that way, bud. Don't go that way. Go back to the water. Back to the water, young fella. There you go, mate. You're all good. Just absolutely living here today. Man, I want to do this every day. Every day I want to film out in nature. Let you guys see the adventures. Bring you along with me. Let me get eaten by the insects so you can stay at home in your nice cosy house. But I don't suggest that. I do suggest that you get out and do this. It's fun as. But um, yeah, please help me reach my goals of being able to do this every day. You know, this is what life's about. This is what I want to do. Get out in nature, film content, bring it to the world. Sounds like there's something in the water. It's creeped me out a bit. Again, you bastard. Oh yeah, you gotta hang it off a tree. Where it does, there's no trees. Alright. Instructions not needed. What the f oh this rubber band bro it hit me in the chest, that scared the corp out of me. I thought that was a big ass bug. I'm just gonna do this, eh? I can't get me in here, mother. That's the money right there, eh? No bugs get me, right? I'm gonna tuck it in. It is now. This in here. This in there. I'm good to go. I did forget a pillow, so that's no good. Man, the bugs are fierce. Use this bad boy as a pillar. It doesn't look too cozy at the minute, but bear with me. Oh my goodness, I'm getting. Look at this guy, he's big, brother. Oh man, they're in my eyes. Oh, this is deadly. Love it though, love it. I've all seen him in the sleeping bag holder. Look at that pillow. Done. Oh, is that deadly? Check this out. I don't even know what they are. Where'd he go? No, he's nicked off. Oh no, there he is. Look at the state of him. What is that? It's got little 
Nah, he's angry. That boy, get... Nah. No way, bro. He's got anger issues, that little fella. Alright. I'm going to snuggle up in the bed. We get in my skeety net and into my sleeping bag with our bugs following me. Let's go. I'm probably going to sweat. Whoa, I nearly went. <clears throat> I'm probably going to sweat my ass off. But that's okay. Oh, they're not going to get me in here, bro. There's no way. Quick, get me a sleeping bag. Pillowcase, whatever you want to call it. My tarp pillow. Let's get up in here. Oh, this is luxury. It's a bit tangly. You probably can't see a damn thing. But this is it, I think. I need to get out of here in a hurry, it's not happening. Let's hope no yowies come. Should be alright. Alright, change of plan. I cannot sleep with this net on my face. So, we're gonna have to build something. I'm gonna have to suss this out. Leave it with me. Alright, check it out. Oh, they're real bad. That is. That's, that's going to be the number. That is going to be the number. Look at this, like... Is he inside my tent? Brother! You're not living now, bruh. Get the fuck out of town. Got this rigged up pretty good. You know? Put these here. These here. I reckon I'm going to be pretty good. You know, spiders might get up under there, but I doubt it. <clears throat> I'm feeling pretty safe. I'm feeling pretty tired. So let's get up in this little igloo. Yup. This is it. Look at that. Plenty of breathing room. Let's go. <laughs> There's one in here with me. That mother sucker. What's that on my leg? Yep. You made it in. See you later. But apart from that, I think we're pretty safe. I think we're pretty safe from majority of the bugs. You know, the skeeties might still be able to pump through on me legs, but the funny thing is I haven't had mosquitoes yet. It looks like those mar not March flies, they look like mayflies, but a little I don't know. I don't know what they are. They're creepy, but let me get some sleep. No, I did not. Good morning. Oh, holy shit. The bug net worked. <sighs> but it doesn't keep dew out. I'm wet. Not in a bloody good way. <sighs> it's pretty rugged. Um, definitely could have done with a better setup. <coughs> oh. Bloody good sleep though. My pillow sort of work. It's a little bit uncomfy, but you know what do you do? But everything's wet. I'm not about it. Look at my sleeping bag cover. Wet. <coughs> so I'm excited for golf today. Let's go. Uncle Paul coming with me. But um, I don't know whether it's a bit foggy. I don't know whether to get some noodles in me now, or just go straight to Macca's for a sausage and egg. Yeah, probably Macca's. It's probably a bit more of a breakfast. Noodles, tch, not going to get me going for golf. I don't even know what the time is, bro. Oh, my phone's cooked. It's wet as. That's not good. It is not even six o'clock. Sweet. I've still got hours.
one more thing, I guess. Leave it how you found it. Don't fucking leave rubbish. Pick all your shit up. Make sure it's nice. Um, <laughs> and I totally forgot, I have to get up a big dirt hill over here, so I'll show you that before we go. So, been a beautiful night. Thank you for coming along. Please like, share, subscribe. Just, yeah, share it in bulk, actually. <laughs> get all your friends to bloody like subscribe all that goodness but i love yous thank you for coming and see you on the next one